and here we are we're finished with bags D and D D um, in this step we installed the rear bulkhead uh, assembled the rear shock tower installed the transmission and the transmission brace um, so this step uh, went pretty smoothly um, one thing that I uh, actually messed up quite a bit on the um, the gold tub chassis version was I mixed up all these screws these four screws and the two screws on the side um, there's only two screws that are this length um, at this top here and those are three-eighths of an inch long and these are five sixteenths of an inch long which are just a bit shorter than those so make sure you don't get those mixed up um, obviously the shock tower has a lot of stress on it um, forward or backward and obviously side to side um, so you don't want to get those mixed up and I don't know I, I just like building things to the kit uh, instructions uh, the first time um, the screws on the side are quite long um, and you'll be able to see you see that black dot in there inside the shock tower well inside the this is the battery cup I suppose battery holder um, you should be able to just see that if you put in the right length screw here and here so you should just be able to see the end of the screw it goes all the way through that plastic so it's obviously this is a very highly stressed uh, part of the chassis so you want to make sure that you have the right length screw in there otherwise you'll just be wearing it out prematurely um, one thing that's interesting is that the instructions say to cut off if you want the original look of the world's chassis to cut off those um, those six holes there and um, just just go with that even more interestingly and I didn't remember this of course uh, being so long ago that I built this car the camber links are way on the inside which um, something to do with roll center I'm sure I, I can't explain that I don't really understand it myself so anyway it's um, very long camber links in the rear um, use the the second from the inside hole for the shock towers uh, for the shock mounts um, installing these uh, obviously very easy you can just see see if the camera can focus on it the YFS on these screws that hold the transmission in place and those are very high quality Japanese screws not that all the other screws are junk on the kit um, but just saying that these are very strong screws so obviously the transmission is going to be going through a lot of stress as well um, so just kit designers decided to use uh, um, some really good screws there so I don't know if those were in there in the original kit but they're definitely here in in the re-release and what else we have the graphite uh, transmission brace that's gone on held in place by four screws uh, what I would suggest is um, to put in these two screws first the forward screws put those two in first and then if you have to just flex the rear of the chassis up just a bit so that these two rear screws line up easily um, rather than trying to do a star method which I did and it it's a bit difficult then so just do the two front screws or do the two back screws whichever way just do the the front or the rear first and then the opposite end and then the last step is to screw in these two screws obviously use some uh, thread lock in there um, I haven't mentioned this before but the kit doesn't include thread lock and in most of the metal on metal places like uh, this screw here on the front um, the camber link uh, mounts um, these screws holding on the shocks and on the motor plate the, well these four screws holding on the motor plate and these two screws obviously any metal to metal contact they tell you to use uh, a thread lock I've used my own um, just blue is uh, what you want you don't want the red stuff that's very very um, high strength so yeah that's it that's bags D and DD and next we'll be doing bags E and EE and I believe uh, let me just check here those are the uh, 
yeah, the rear uh, suspension arms and the drive shafts, and and then we get to do the fun part, the turnbuckles. Not really my favorite, but it's got to be done. So anyway, um, that's it. We'll uh, be getting back to you real soon with the rest of the build for the RC10 World's car.